Hello and welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Matt, and I'm Nina. You know, Matt, it's I feel like it's so cold today, and I feel like I just want to go somewhere just a little bit warmer, maybe travel Southeast Asia. Do yeah, you recommend anywhere? Oh yeah, Southeast Asia is a great area to go to to get away from like when it's cold and wet here. You can go somewhere nice and warm, like there's Thailand. Okay. You go to you know Vietnam. I've been to those both though. Or Philippines. Oh, I've never been to Philippines. Really? Oh, yeah. Gotta go to the Philippines. I would love to. So many nice, you know, really nice beaches. So places like, you know, Palawan mm. or Boracay or Cebu. Oh, I'd love to go to Cebu. I've seen such amazing, beautiful pictures of the place. So. Yeah, I've I've been to Cebu. I've been there twice. Okay. And yeah, it has really nice beaches, and it also has some really nice like wildlife you can see there, especially oh, wow. snorkeling or scuba diving. You know, I know last time I went, I went to a place called Mobile, and there they have like turtles you can see just off the shore oh from from the God. from the town, and then also this thing called the Sardine Run, where there's like. Hundreds of thousands of sardines, which are small fish, and they swim in a group and they swim together, and you can watch them move around oh, under the water. Wow. It's really amazing. That does sound truly amazing. Wow! I think I'm gonna do a little bit more research about Cebu, and maybe that that can be my next stop. Okay, well, you're in luck because today we are looking at an article about Cebu. Oh, okay. So we're gonna learn a lot more about Cebu and what you can do there when we get into today's article. The beautiful region of Cebu lies in the very heart of the Philippines, consisting of almost 170 islands. The area is known as the gateway to a thousand journeys. The reason why it has this name is simple: with its rich history, delicious food, incredible nature, and exciting activities, Cebu has a journey for everyone. Less than three hours by plane from Taipei, it is the perfect place for those who want to escape the Taiwanese winter. February falls within the dry season here, and the temperatures are generally warm but not too hot. That's why many visitors choose to spend their time in Cebu, relaxing on its many beautiful beaches. Welcome back. Today we are looking at part one of Cebu, the gateway to a thousand journeys. I wonder why they call it that. Okay. Well, a journey. First off, a journey is the act of moving from one place to another. So、mm -hmm. traveling from one place to another. And so in this case, there are a thousand journeys, and it's the gateway to a thousand journeys. So that means that you can travel to so many places from here.、Mm -hmm. and it's the gateway, as it's the entrance or the starting point for these. Thousand journeys, so so、okay. many places you can travel to or take a journey to from Cebu. Amazing. Another example for journey: their journey across the desert was long and difficult. Okay, all right. Let's get into the article. The beautiful region of Cebu lies in the very heart of the Philippines, consisting of almost one hundred and seventy islands. Wow, that's that's a lot. They must be very small islands,、mm -hmm. right? The area is known as the gateway to a thousand journeys. Now it makes sense with all these islands. You could be hopping in different islands, right? Yeah, there's gonna be so many different places you can go.、Mm -hmm. So many places that are worth visiting on these 170 islands. Oh, wow. Okay, so it consists of all these islands. Consist is a verb. It means to be made up of or composed of particular elements or parts. For example, their night consisted of interesting conversations and lots of laughter. Okay. okay. So continuing with the article, the reason why it has this name is simple: with its rich history, delicious food, incredible nature, and exciting activities, Cebu has a journey for everyone. Wow. So so many different things. It has you know all of those elements. Not only history. 
but also the great food and then the, the nature, the natural sights you can see. And then there's lots of, because it's, there's so many things that would make you want to go there, there's also now lots of exciting activities oh. you can do there. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm excited to learn more about them. Mm -hmm. So they said that these are incredible. So incredible is an adjective, which means, in this usage, it means something that is extremely good. Something that's yeah. very good is incredible. Mm -hmm. This word has another meaning, which means unbelievable, not Pos not easy to be believed. Oh. It's not easy to be credible. It's incredible. Ah, so when we sense. say that something is incredible, it means it's so good you won't believe it. It's that good. Mm -hmm. For example, when Paul first listened to the album, he thought it was the most incredible music he had ever heard. Wow. Okay. So. The Philippines, Cebu is supposed to be incredible, right? Let's continue in the article. Less than three hours by plane from Taipei, it is the perfect place for those who want to escape the Taiwanese winter. So that's gonna be me. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good <laughs> I'm excited. February falls within the dry season here, and the temperatures are generally warm, but not too hot. So that's always good. I don't like to be too hot when I'm on vacation. So a nice warm but comfortable heat is nice. Yes. That's why many visitors choose to spend their time in Cebu, relaxing on its many beautiful beaches. It sounds like I should go this weekend already. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nice to have the, these, these tropical places so close to Taipei. Yes. It's one of the reasons that I really like to live in Taipei is that you have places like the Philippines or Vietnam that are only, you know, a couple or a few hours away by airplane and then you're in a completely different country and a completely different weather. Yeah. And it really allows you to to avoid the winters because I've never I've never liked winter or cold weather and that's yeah. another part of the reason I moved from Canada yeah. to Taiwan. <laughs> But so yeah, I even like to avoid the Taiwanese winter. Yeah, that's true though. I think it's great that whoever lives in Taiwan can really take advantage mm. of where Taiwan is and how close it is to countries like the Philippines. Right, so we're going to come back after the break and learn more about Cebu. All right. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍的旅游地点是宿务。那么标题用到 the gateway to a thousand journeys 来描述。那么 gateway 这个名词就表示出入口，我们可以用 gateway to 加上地方来表达，说是通往什么什么的通道啊，门户。再看到 journey 这个单字，它表示旅程、旅行。好，那么宿雾它是位于菲律宾的中心，这个地区由将近一百七十个岛屿组成，拥有丰富的历史、美味的食物、很棒的大自然，还有令人兴奋的活动。这边有着适合每一个人的旅程。我们来看单字 c o n s i s t consist 是动词，表示由什么组成、包含。那它的用法就是名词加上 consist of 点点点，来表达某事物由什么什么所组成。再看到 incredible， 它是形容词，形容极好的、难以置信的。我们如果去掉字首 i am， 变成 credible， 则是形容可信的、可靠的。课文接着写道：“从台北搭飞机到宿雾不到三小时，对于想到热带岛屿过冬的人来说，这边是个完美的地方。那二月正值干季，气温通常很温暖，但不会太热。这就是为什么许多游客选择把时间花在宿雾的美丽海滩上来放松。那这边用到一个重点，我们要进入文法时间。”好，这边我们来看看这个句型。That is why 主词加动词是指，那就是什么什么的原因。其中的 why 主词加动词，就是由 why 来引导的名词子句，用来当主词补语用。像是 Dana is lactose intolerant。That's why she doesn't drink milk. Dana 有乳糖不耐症，那就是她不喝牛奶的原因。好，接下课文中。A great spot for chilling out in the sun is Bantayan Island, famous for its fine white sand and clear blue water. 
Kota Beach, one of Bantayan's most popular, even boasts a small lagoon and is the perfect place to catch some rays. If you get bored with putting your feet up though, Cebu offers plenty of fun activities to get your heart racing. Explore the mysterious chambers of Bukalat Cave, zip line through the lush forests of Danasan Eco Adventure Park, or leap off Inambakan Falls into the waters below. Welcome back. We are talking about Cebu, a region in the Philippines that is known as the gateway to a thousand journeys. So this region has over 170 islands and has so many incredible things to see and do. It has great food. It has natural sites. It has activities you can do. Mm -hmm. So there's so many reasons to visit Cebu. And okay. we're going to learn some more when we get into the article. All right, so getting into the article. A great spot for chilling out in the sun is Bantayan Island, famous for its fine white sand and clear blue water. I think I've seen pictures before and they're amazing, right? Kota Beach, one of Bantayan's most popular, even boasts a small lagoon and is a perfect place to catch some rays. Okay, well that's great. So it boasts a small lagoon. So to boast something means to have something. It means to have usually a feature which is a source of pride, something you are mm -hmm. proud of. So if it boasts a small lagoon, the lagoon is something to be proud of. It's something cool, something impressive. So for example, our city can now boast the smoothest roads in the state. Okay. So we also use this word to boast. Mm -hmm. If it just, when you say like a city or a person as a feature boasts something, that means it's a source of pride. But when we say someone boasts <laughs> about something, it's to say how good something is. So for example, someone from this city with smooth roads might say, my city has the smoothest roads in the state. Yeah, it's and, kind of like showing off, yeah, we'll right? Be boasting. <laughs> okay. And they said it's a good place to catch some rays. And in this case, they mean sun rays, mm. right? So catching some sun. That's right. If you get bored with putting your feet up, though, Cebu offers plenty of fun activities to get your heart racing. Okay. So I know that I often get bored of just sitting on a beach. <laughs> I need something, something exciting to do. So let's find out what we can do there. Okay. Explore the mysterious chambers of Bukilat Cave, zip line through the lush forests of Danasang Eco Adventure Park, or leap off in Nambakan Falls into the waters below. Wow, that sounds so exciting. Yes, yeah, some very exciting things you can do. You know, one of those things that, that you know, I'm very interested in is to zip line. Oh. So to zip line is to travel on a, usually it's a wire going through in like an interesting area. Yes. So something that you want to see, it's high above the ground and people will wear a harness, something that keeps you safe and you attach yourself to the wire yes. and you slide from the higher end of the wire to, to the, the lower end of the wire. And it's a great activity for tourists to do, especially in scenic areas, mm -hmm. you know, like this eco adventure park. Yes, that sounds like so much fun. Hmm. And they mentioned the word mysterious. Mysterious is an adjective and it's something that's difficult to understand, explain, or involves secrets. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's like, I saw this mysterious guy at the park yesterday. Hmm, that means you're wondering about him, you don't know anything, and yes, maybe he's secretive, we Ooh, don't know what's okay. going on. For example, ever since she was a child, Valerie had found the forest strange and mysterious. Okay. Okay. Well, we were talking about these mysterious chambers. Yes. So a chamber is a natural or man-made enclosed space. So a chamber can be something as simple as a room in a building, but in this case, we're talking about chambers in a cave. So it's when you can go into an enclosed space within a cave. Mm, so for example, the ancient chamber was discovered beneath the castle's main hall. Okay. So it was something that was below and they had to discover it because there was no opening. It was an enclosed 
chamber. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are some exciting things that you can do in Cebu, and we're going to learn a little bit more next time when we get into part two of our article. All right, see you then. Beach，哥达海滩，它甚至拥有一个小西湖，是晒太阳的完美场所。所以呢，如果你不想一直待在海滩放空，其实这个树它也有提供许多有趣刺激的活动哦，像是探索神秘洞窟、玩高空滑索等等。那文中它用到zip line，zip line当动词表示高空滑索。那Matt老师这时候他有用到harness这个字，h a r n e s s，harness表示安全锁具或是系带，系住的安全带那种。像我们可以用safety harness 来。全身式的安全带啊安全吊带这样好再来看单字 boast boast 在这边表示拥有尤其是拥有值得骄傲的成就或事物那这个字也可以表达夸耀或是吹嘘的意思再看到 mysterious 它是形容词形容神秘的难以理解的 Nina老师在讲解时 她提到 secretive 在secret后面加上 ive 那这个形容词是形容神秘的或是形式隐秘的 再看到 chamber, chamber 它在这边指这个封闭空间，是指天然或是人造的封闭空间。那在课文里面，它就是表达这个天然形成的洞窟。这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。我们来看第一个重点是 chill out 表示彻底放松或是冷静下来，适当不及勿用。它就跟 calm down 或者是 relax 意思相同。例如 after work。he likes to chill out in front of the TV. 下班后他喜欢看电视放松一下。那第二重点是 get 加受词加受词补语的用法。get 在这边是指使或是让。那么以下介绍三种用法。第一种是 get 受词 to 加原形动词，这是表达使或是让什么什么做某事。例如， she felt frustrated because she couldn't get the kids to behave. 她感到很挫折，因为无法让孩子们守规矩。那么第二个句型是 get 加受词加现在分词 v i n g 这是指说促使某人事物开始进行什么什么那是强调动作的持续性或是渐进性举例来说身边的人啊如果在电脑前常常久坐你就可以对他说 You really need to get your body moving more 你真的该多让你的身体动起来了好那么第三个介绍的句型是 get 加受词加过去分词 pp 这是表达促使某项动作被完成这是强调动作的完成那这个动作可以由自己或是别人来执行举例来说 I got my phone fixed yesterday 我昨天请人帮我修理手机好那以上的介绍讲解同学别走开马上回来哦The beautiful region of Cebu lies in the very heart of the Philippines. Consisting of almost 170 islands, the area is known as the gateway to a thousand journeys. The reason why it has this name is simple. With its rich history, delicious food, incredible nature, and exciting activities, Cebu has a journey for everyone. Less than three hours by plane from Taipei, it is the perfect place for those who want to escape the Taiwanese winter. February falls within the dry season here, and the temperatures are generally warm, but not too hot. That's why many visitors choose to spend their time in Cebu, relaxing on its many beautiful beaches. A great spot for chilling out in the sun is Bantayan Island, famous for its fine white sand and clear blue water. Kota Beach, one of Bantayan's most popular, even boasts a small lagoon and is the perfect place to catch some rays. If you get bored with putting your feet up, though, Cebu offers plenty of fun activities to get your heart racing. Explore the mysterious chambers of Bukalat Cave, zip line through the lush forests of Danasan Eco Adventure Park, or leap off Inambakan Falls into the waters below. Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences 
containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Carolyn. I'm Matt. And today we're going to be playing Guess the Bear. So we got some pretty tricky、uh, cards here. Are you ready to guess? Yes. All right. right. How about let's get into it? What、okay. do you reckon? Sounds okay, good. Okay. So the first one is verb. One word. The dog bared at the closed door with its paws. My arm is so itchy that I that I keep bearing it. Scratch. Yeah, yeah, you got it, mate. You scratch that itch real well、okay. and very quickly, might I add. Yeah, read those sentences again. Yeah, sure. I'll read them again.、Uh, verb one word. The dog scratched at the do closed door with its paws. My arm is so itchy that I keep scratching it. Ah.、Oh. Okay. The next one. We've got a noun. One word. The girl fell on the bear and started crying. Shelley bounced her ball on the bear. Ground. Yeah, yeah, you did. You know, people might say their heads in the clouds, but you're definitely on the ground right now. And let's see how that sounds with that word. The girl fell on the ground and started crying. Shelley bounced her ball on the ground. A lot of possibilities there, and you just got it in one slam dunk. Okay, this one's going to trick you both. I think it's a phrase, two words. The teacher bared bear the students' cell phones. After we finish the meal. The waiter bared bare our plates. Took away, mate. You took it away. You took two. You took. You took two of the three questions away. It's very greedy, but you know, hey, I guess you won. So let's hear that phrase. Two words. The teacher took away the students' cell phones. After we finished the meal, the waiter took away our plates.、Yep. And thank you very much, Matt, for taking that away. Yeah, it was, yeah.、Uh, I had it. Yeah, you never know when he's going to finish talking. <laughs> yeah, got to keep you on your toes.